every single thing that happens is either going to be a request for more money or a demand of more power and control. That's the only things that are ever happening here. It is never to actually protect and serve the people of California specifically. What is up? My name is Eric. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back. And this, of course, is the epicenter for all of your current and captivating coastal elite chaos. So please hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and share this with a friend. From Fox 11 Los Angeles, LAPD grapples with officer safety concerns as DACA recruits face firearm restrictions. And obviously somebody should have known that this was going to happen before they started to hire illegals or maybe more likely they were hoping that the law would change because everything is upside down and backwards in this clown world we live in. So now illegals are going to be arresting American citizens and... They should have guns, I guess, but you shouldn't. I don't know. Let's see what they have to say. Before they hired them, they should have known that this was going to happen. Huh. Pretty solid stuff. Somebody should have known before they hired them that this was going to happen, unless it's something far more sinister going on. The LAPD finds itself in a conundrum. Two of their newest recruit officers are DACA recipients, also known as Dreamers. California passed also known as anchor babies. It's the law allowing non-citizens to become police officers. But as retired LAPD background investigator Ken Royball explains, there is a significant federal problem with that. They kind of back themselves into a corner because federal law dictates that they, the DACA recipients, although eligible to work in the United States legally or in California, they can't take their guns home, they can't possess guns, they can't buy ammo, and so they're not police officers, technically armed police officers when they go home. Our inside sources say the department is working to fix this problem, but they confirm- Oh, oh, the department is working to fix the problem, like maybe not hiring illegals? How do you plan on fixing this problem? Give me a break. The new DACA hires will only be able to have their LAPD-issued guns while at work, and they will not be able to purchase any ammunition. If a police officer cannot take his gun home, isn't that problematic? I mean, it could be a safety issue. It's an officer safety issue. It's a big officer safety issue because when an officer goes home, they leave the station, you drive out of the station with the identities of police officers getting out nowadays, they aren't armed and they will not be able to protect themselves even at home. We contacted LAPD. But so I guess, again, this makes sense because if California gets its way, then regular citizens are not going to be able to protect themselves. Police officers are not going to be able to protect themselves. The only people that are going to be able to protect themselves are, of course, the criminals. Chief Michael Moore for comment, and while he initially said he would address this issue with us, Chief Moore did not get back to us in time for the story. The L.A. Police Protective League chose not to comment, but LAPD Detective Jamie McBride, also an LAPPL director, issued a personal statement that says in part, I would be very concerned with allowing non-citizens to have... He even, so this is the former police officer issuing a statement because he can't be bothered to speak about it and still will use the term non-citizens. Like, give it a rest, guys. Yeah, okay, DACA, Dreamers, fine. But right now, this is the problem, like, this these euphemisms, and it's been like this for a long time, but these euphemisms, oh, gender-affirming care, oh, non-citizens, oh, uh, people experiencing homelessness or the unhoused it's all complete nonsense and that's why nothing will get solved is because they can't even use the proper words to address the problems but of course they don't want to solve the problems because if they solve any problems then they won't be able to have something to request more federal funding for so that's always what it's going to come down to it's going to be a request for more money right every single thing that happens is either going to be a request for more money or a demand of more power and control. That's the only things that are ever happening here. It is never to actually protect and serve the people of California specifically.
They have the ability to arrest U.S. citizens. That doesn't even sound right. And the LAPD also wants to provide firearms to these non-citizens in violation of federal law. Well, how do you think this is going to be resolved? There's absolutely no way to resolve it because they're not going to change the federal laws. Yeah, and they knew this going into it, but they are hell-bent. They, as in, I don't know, the political establishment machine behind the curtain, they are hell-bent on destroying cities. Even the governator, Arnold, is saying that the Democratic establishment wants to destroy cities, and they are doing it perfectly. San Francisco is obviously collapsing. Oakland is collapsing. Los Angeles is collapsing. New York City is collapsing big time with Mayor Eric Adams claiming that they do not have any more room. Governor Kathy Holtz, I don't know why I'm doing Kathy Holtz on Eric Adams' voice, but she's saying do not come, right? The old Kamala treatment, do not come, do not come. But they know what they've done. These people, again, for the 100th millionth point five and a half times, they are not stupid. They are evil. But Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, of course, subscribe, buy my book, New York City 2020, Amazon.com. Link will be in the description and tune in every single Sunday, almost every single Sunday to the Unauthorized Opinions podcast right here on YouTube, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern.